back. It's Mr. L Live 08 coming to you once again. And today we're going to be talking about the Wii U and the Xbox 720 and the PS4 and all Wii U news. You know, just random stuff that I've been wanting to talk about. I was going to make videos on it, but I think I need to, you know, to go ahead and address it, you know, now. But to make a long story short, I've uh, been watching, you know, a couple of videos that's in the YouTube uh, community. Uh, Level-headed gamer, uh, um, my man Sax, uh, who else? Jedi Knight, New York, and um, a couple of couple of more um a couple of more people you know I, i've been you know i've been watching and pretty much nintendo people have been holding their own because for some reason these xbox 360 and ps3 people they're starting to backtrack on on these graphics on these games you know all before you know hey the PS, the PS4, and the Xbox 720, especially the Xbox 720. Oh, the Xbox 720 is gonna blow the Wii U out the water. Now you're getting videos now saying, well, if the Xbox 720 is not that powerful, I'ma just go to PC. Well, you might as well go to PC because we've been saying this all along that it's not gonna be that powerful. You're not gonna see a big leap like how you seen the last time from standard definition to high definition you wasn't going to see a big leap and if you want to see how the graphics are going to be for the next gen just get you a pc that's all you have to do get you a pc with a good graphic card in it and you're going to see how the graphics are going to be for the next gen basically the games are probably going to have more particles you know, be able to do tessellation and look a little bit more shinier. You know, that's it. It's still going to run 30, 30 frames per second and still run at 1080p. It's still, it's still going to do that. Some, some, you know, just to, just to do some tricks, they might upscale it to 1080p. It might not be true 1080p. You know. It's just it's just getting ridiculous now when we've told you guys, you Microsoft drones and you Sony drones all before that the systems were there were they were not gonna be that big of a leap. Oh, it's just gonna kill the Wii U. It's gonna the Wii it's gonna be the Wii all over again. <laughs> yeah, right. Like I've been saying before and I said again, Nintendo has that long money. All you people that's out there that keeps thinking that Nintendo is going to go the way of Sega, you smoking dope. Nintendo can lose $200 million for the next 60 years and still have money in the bank. Just think about what I just said. $200 million a year for 60 years... And still have money in the bank. Nintendo is not going anywhere. So just stop it. They're not going anywhere. This is an empire. When you got companies. That's selling off their headquarters. I'm not calling no. <coughs> Sony. <coughs> Sony. They selling off their headquarters. Because they need money. But you, but you steady saying Nintendo, Nintendo ain't got no money. They, this, this is going to be their last console. This is what Nintendo does. And Nintendo just got smarter. They just, they just took their R&D department from the 3DS and the console and they're getting ready to combine it. Now things are really going to heat up now. You just imagine what Nintendo next system is going to do. I'm telling you guys, 
Stop making these crazy accusations about Nintendo. Nintendo is an empire. Just face it. Just face the facts. Nintendo is an empire. They've been doing this too long. Sony and Microsoft just got in the game. Nintendo's been doing this since 1985. Nineteen eighty five. But you guys seem to, to think that Nintendo's going on the wayside. But back but back to the news. The Wii U, they announced, you know, uh Rayman Legends is coming in February. Um Need for Speed Most Wanted will be here on I think March the nineteenth. Uh Monster Hunter will be here on the eighth March the eighteenth. Uh, what else? Um, you got uh, the Ultimate Spider-Man. That's going to be here in March. And, you know, uh, a couple of a couple of more games, you know, were announced. That's going to, you know, that's going to be here, you know, in March. Um, for some odd reason, I can't understand why Alien uh, Colonial Marine won't be here in March. They said, you know, first quarter. Well, first quarter could mean all the way in April. You know, uh, if that's supposed to be, you know, the definitive one, it seemed like to me they would have launched it, you know, in March, not trying, you know, keep pushing it back. But it's strange that Gearbox is not working on it. They have a another team that's working on it. But we'll we'll get in that another day. It is what it is on that. People keep people keep doing that. So. You know, hey, it is what it is. Long, long if the game is not crappy, I'm not worried about it. But, you know, I'm looking forward for Monster Hunter, Rayman Legend. I I, I might pick up that, that Spider-Man game because it, it looked it kind of it looked it kind of good. Um, You know, I don't know how you guys are, are big on the, the Disney uh, Infinity um game. You know, I don't know how big you are on that, but it it looks interesting. Same thing with um uh Lego City Undercover. That's coming out in March too. March nineteenth, if I'm not mistaken, on that too. So there's fairly a good amount of games that's coming out, you know, for the Wii U. A lot of people say, well, the Wii U doesn't have any games, but you know, if you look at the charts, but basically all the games that's on the on the game charts, on the top games charts, the Wii U has it. So I don't, you know, I'm I'm not gonna get into that, but you know, it is, you know, it is what it is, you know, when it comes to that. I I think the Wii U is doing great. I think they have enough games, you know, from launch all the way, you know, to April, to June, and more games will be announced. You know, more games will be announced. I know a lot of people are frustrated that, like, say, like, Tomb Raider and uh, Crisis 3. Yeah, let's talk about that Crisis 3. Now, you know, I'm not a big person on EA. John Rigatillo, he can't he can't run a business. He don't he don't run EA in, uh, basically in the ground. So, you know, with the whole origin deal and Nintendo and Nintendo saying no to the origin deal and uh, basically John Rigatillo getting mad, you know, and saying, you know, well, we'll strap, you know, some of the games and we'll give them, you know, uh, half, you know, half ports, you know, on the game. We won't use the full features, you know, because they had the development kits, you know, ever since. Um, 2011, you know, when it was on stage and they was, you know, saying, you know, we're going to fully back, you know, Nintendo and stuff like that, you know, hey, it was all good, you know, then, but, you know, after Nintendo said, no, we ain't going to use the origin, we're not going to use the origin deal, we'll just, you know, use our own network and build from there, you know, hey, they, they got an attitude about it, you know, business is business, that's the way how people, you know, people do things, but at the end of the day, EA, you need Nintendo, Nintendo doesn't need you, and you got to realize that, you know, John Regatello, you do some bad business, man, bad business, and it's going to cost your company, because 
at the end of the day, like I said, you're going to need Nintendo. Nintendo doesn't need you. You know, like I said, with that, that Crisis 3, Crisis 3 would have been, you know, would have been good on it. It would have, you know, show, you know, how powerful, you know, the system is and the graphics would have looked on the system. You know, hey, Crytek said, you know, hey, they already had it running on it. But for some odd reason, EA, nah. They said, nah. So it is what it is, you know. Hey, maybe we'll get, you know, another game. But I'm, 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 I'm looking forward to seeing GTA 5, you know, on the Wii U. Now, that's the one game. Nintendo has to get to put on their system. They have to get GTA 5 on there because everybody plays GTA 5. Everybody. There's 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 no there's no reason for for Rockstar to say, well, we can't, you know, we can't put it on there, you know, if Nintendo if Nintendo and Rockstar comes to an agreement. It's just it's just simple as that. If they you know if they come to an agreement, then hey, it's on there. And I feel like it's gonna be on there. I know they said it's supposed to launch, you know, like March the twenty fifth or March the thirtieth or something like that. You know, some way down the line on the thirtieth. If it gets pushed back, it's coming to the Wii U. I, I I believe so. Because they keep pushing the date back. But uh if it gets pushed back some more I think it's going to get put on, you know, on the Wii U. But, you know, on some, on to, you know, some other news. Uh, Michael Pachter, Mr. Pachter, says that the Wii U is going to only sell, I guess, in the five-year lifespan, only 45 million consoles. That's it. That's it for the Wii U, 45 million consoles in its lifespan. And we got to think about, you know, lifespan now. If if, if you want to, you know, add it on. Well, Nintendo is five years. <clears throat> um, some of the other ones are six, seven, and eight. But, you know, I say lifespan, five years, you know. So, basically, he's saying that it's going to, you know, sell basically nine million, you know, nine million consoles a year. Mr. Pactor, I think you have fell and bump your head too many times there's no way that the Wii U will sell half of what the uh, Wii sold you know guys I hate to say it but you know I think it'll sell between 60 to 70 you know let's keep it real but you know let you guys tell me what you think Tell me what you think on the matter. Do you think the Wii U is doing good? Do you think, you know, a lot of people are blowing smoke? A lot of people are trying to get hits, you know, on their websites just to, you know, to make up things, you know, to make the Wii U look bad. Let me know, you know, in the comment sections, you know, what what do you think? And like I always say, you guys have a good day. And like I always say. Peace.